Hey guys, welcome to our review of TGD Sentai Re Soldier, episode 33. As always, I'm your host, Frozen Stratos. Here with me today we have... Lucinda Blaze. And Makotoa. My dudes, welcome back. Uh, we watched this episode yesterday uh, so that you guys could comment uh, down below in that episode and we'll respond to it here. But first, uh, we'll get to our thoughts. Um, a few, a lot of which we shared at the end of the watch along. Um, Couldn't help ourselves. Yeah, if if uh, you're one of those people that uh, hopped in to the watch along just to comment without taking a look at the watch along itself, we did actually have some very strong negative reactions. Um, and we talked for a considerable amount of time uh, yeah, just sure. because, you know, it was a very uh, controversial episode. <laughs> So, uh, after, after a day to let it absorb, what do you guys think? Um, I definitely kind of am more on your side where this was a good, a great episode, but with the context that it had within the series, it just made that great episode just so awful. Yeah. Like, and like. (laughs) Like, kind of, like, mulling it over, just watching it again. Like, everything kind of, like, made sense. Everything could have been, like, done really well. But we're not in a point in the series where we should have had that episode. And they mm-hmm. did not set up things that they could have easily set up. Like, yeah. even within this episode, if they just let us know that Geysorg was weak as heck beforehand. If they just, like, said it out loud instead of just, like, having us infer it. Because this it doesn't feel like... That would be something that we would have to be do have to I mean, do ourselves. You know, I'm I'm of two minds with that. It's like this is a visual medium. Show, don't tell. But when when you have so little time to set up what you want to say, uh, every every second counts. And especially for his debut, after coming off of him being so extremely powerful, it's jarring. To just sort of see him uh, weakened. I would have liked an episode where, you know, they go to fight. They're in the fight. And he's like, oh, shoot. I'm not as strong anymore. I don't know what's going on. Something like that. But we didn't get that. And, um, you know, my, my views on this episode have softened. Just because it was a well-constructed episode and like alex was saying just not in context i think and we were talking about the pacing of the actual fight itself and and the the strike that actually did him in um i rewatched it because i was making a thumbnail and the sort of silence uh in the initial impact like it happened and then they they sat on it for a little bit yeah so like it told me that it was it was dire, but then within the context of the show itself, it's like, oh, this is when they're pretending to make it dire. Exactly. So that you don't, you know, it's going to fake us out and he, he'll be fine. But no, it's actually happening. So I feel like going in knowing he's dying is, might actually be a better experience. It shouldn't have to be that way. It should It shouldn't. It's- it's the same. It's the same way as you saying, "Oh, this would have been a better experience three episodes from now." You know, it's one of those things where it's like the audience was not prepared for this in its, you know, yeah. as it is being shown. Right? Like we didn't know he was gonna die, and the last time we had a really fatal-looking attack or uh, slash or something, it ended up being almost a nothing burger. Like he was back on his feet that same episode, dancing around almost. So, or, and that was that was back when Nada slashed uh, Red in the back. Yeah. And I'm just, you know, like, so I'm still, I'm still pretty hung up on this episode. I haven't softened my views at all since that, since that review, to be honest, just because it's like, there, it, it just, you, you obviously feel like all three of us felt that visceral in the moment. I don't know anybody else watching who did. Let us know in the comments. Maybe you already have. But, but like, I, I just don't want to, like, let that go just because we're like, okay, well, we can see if this happened, it would be different. If this mm-hmm. happened, it would be different. 
I, I, I just feel like this X, it, it just didn't work for me. So, because like, it, we oh, didn't have Nada get that development. My, yeah. oh, go ahead. Yeah, like, but my uh, counterpoint to that is like Corey's point from yesterday. It's just like the technical stuff that happened, like how they did every scene mm-hmm. was good. Yeah. But they just forgot, like, the plot setup. And that was like mainly it. And I feel like because they didn't like set up what Guy's Org was after he joined our side like come on like how are we supposed to know that he's supposed to be weak as heck like everyone just was like anticipating for him to henshin and he just kind of doesn't out and of then, left you know. see out of left field too because like think about it this was a ping pong filler episode by all other like just assumptions i mean right? it, oh i mean if it hadn't started because like sure it seemed like it was about to be ping pong filler but that was like the first five minutes yeah you know what i mean and again um you know it's since they don't have a lot of time to set up this sense of normalcy for this team because for whatever reason they had to have to make the death now i feel like the ping pong was in service of that and i mean i understand to your point like what i don't see how the ping pong could have been in service to anything with with his death it, so, like, I, I was thinking, like, you know, we usually get filler episodes to set a tone, mm-hmm. right? To set a status quo. We don't have the time to set a status quo, so we'll have them goof off in this episode in order to attempt to build one before they rip it away. And I feel like that, on okay, some levels, that might have been saying. the best I can see way what you're that saying, they could have done it. Because, like, knowing... If they were planning this from the beginning, from the get-go to kill him off, they didn't want to have him, and this is what I'm, this is my theory, and this is why it pisses me off, they didn't want to spend the money to give him a legitimate henshin sequence. You know, I, and so... I don't... Uh, it's, uh, no, because, they definitely like, had Okay, they definitely had money, that's the thing, but they, they had to did. spend it on Red's power-up, and I think, like, that was, like, the double stop in the face, um... Just because we didn't get the guys where we wanted, and then Red took it from us. Yeah. I, like, honestly, Red would probably be the best one to inherit Nada's power, because, you know, they kind of did have that sort of relationship, because he's, like, the senior pupil for Red. And I would have been fine with it a little bit later. But mm-hmm. when it kind of happens, I think it's just, like, we expected something, and we just didn't get it, and just felt real bad this episode. It, it is. It all happened at once. That sort of mentality is sort of... I'm seeing it a lot during this show. Like, we expect something, and it doesn't happen. It's just the problem that this time, they told us, or at least they gave us this sense of like, oh, hey, we're going to establish a new status quo with this guy. And then we didn't, you know? <clears throat> um, And it's... Uh, On some level, I gotta, you know, there are powers that be that may have expedited the process of his death or his departure from the show, right? And I I don't want to diminish the fact that, again, like what what Alex was saying, technically this was a good episode. Mm -hmm. Everything had room to breathe within, within itself. I understand, in context, this really sucks. I didn't like it. Will you but, ever be able to consider him a part of the team, a legitimate part of the team, an actual ranger on the team? Uh, like, as part of the team, yeah, he was there for a yeah. very long time. Uh, he was kind of, like, supporting everyone kind of, like, behind the scenes. He just, he's kind of, like, one of those, like, bumbling, real soul tribe members who just kind of, like, there to, like, pal around. But, you know, it turns out he was Guy Zorg, and they kind of, like, worked it well, out. Well, here's and- the thing. Like, that's that's fine and dandy, except that his character... His entire character, what did he want? He wanted to be part of this, the squad. He wanted to be a Ryu soldier. And what did he get? He finally got it and immediately dies. Does that sound fulfilling to you? It doesn't sound fulfilling to me. That's what I'm getting at. No, I mean, like, it's not... I, I'm not saying that that's, like, invalid, it, that reading of it. to is... injury, he doesn't even get his own budget for an a, a henshin sequence that's well, why I mean, I'm... look if he's dying this episode there's no point that's what that's why i'm i'm thinking that like i why, feel like if not... they if they had planned to keep him 
mm-hmm. then they would have they would have given it to him because like he has attack screens like he has attack um uh footage stock footage that they use like they wouldn't commit to something or they wouldn't not that's why i'm saying that it's it hurts more because it wasn't just some kind of like scheduling issue that caused them to have to speed up his death in the show if this was planned from the start that he was gonna die pretty much immediately after he joined the squad that kind of hurts well like look the thing is we don't know the lead time for production and how much money they want to pour into like effects and how long it takes for that to happen we don't know how far in advance they planned this yeah what you were suggesting though was that you think that they because uh, what you were just suggesting was that they planned it this way that this was likely the plan no, no no what i'm suggesting is that the show probably had one way they wanted to go but the powers that be say toei Say Bandai said, "Hey, we gotta get rid of this guy." The, it, it, there's evidence of like conflict with that because last episode told us we were gonna set up a new status quo, or at least you know, bring him in as part of the team. Okay, that's but what I'm that more okay play. with. That's what I'm more okay with. The idea that like they had to switch it up and that you know they were by all means planning to give him more, you know, before if they inevitably plan to kill him off. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, okay. But, so, I mean, I guess the main point is we don't know, mm-hmm. right? And we're just we're just seeing what we've got. And I'm saying this was a great episode technically, not great in the, the uh, tapestry that is Ryu Soldier. This yeah. definitely sucked. Timing, yeah. 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 All right. Um, cool. Yo, that film was pretty kick ass, though. Let's go oh, on some yeah. of like, the positives yeah. before. You're not wrong. Like... <laughs> You're yeah. not wrong. Yo, the, the music. I I was so mad. If you go back to the watch along, I was so mad that it was so cool. Ah, <laughs> uh, it has no right to be that cool. The music is really what got me. Like the transformation jiggle. It, oh. Oh, it was so good. I don't know. It was like the right shade of red with all the spikiness I needed from it. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, I hate this guy from taking nada from us. Yeah. But dang it, why he looks so cool. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> this isn't fair. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, it sucks because, like, you know, uh, it would it would be easier to digest if if this wasn't good. And I think I, I don't know how many times that I've said this, but like now we're within this bubble where episode really good setup horrible and we're left in the middle and it sucks because those two are like those two ends are at odds. Mm-hmm. And it yeah. yeah, I don't know. It it leads to a very different experience, uh, you know. I don't know. Uh yeah. Yeah, so did you guys have anything else you wanted to say before we head into the comments? The helmet nah, smash was pretty sick. Oh, that was dope. <laughs> yeah, that was ac- that was actually, like, one of the signs that showed that his armor is kind of brittle. <laughs> if it actually <laughs> breaks like that, then maybe... Uh, it's it's a God, it wasn't brittle before then! Mm. You took all the hate, and the hate was all the, the juice, and now it's all brittle now. Oh. Also, yeah. the, the actors put in those those emotions yeah it was and, a you know, fine performance what threw me off even more was that pink episode where she was bringing everything to that episode and i felt it and then like everyone bringing their a game here it's like all right cool uh it, you know they're feeling the emotions but i feel safe because we've gone through this rigmarole 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 before and we've come out fine on the end no, we didn't. It really sucks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, comments? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, so our first comment from Cobalt Steel. This mode, Reusol Red, my notification to- tone is on. This mode, Reusol Red, has is my favorite of the final mode slash battleizers in Power Rangers. It's very awesome. 
looking and beasts out she beats out she she read orion in my opinion my mouth is not having a good time today mm. but i don't know i feel like they're going for different aesthetics but yeah. i definitely agree it's dope yeah um, like uh this one was definitely i'm gonna get in your face and wreck it and then orion was like you know cl- like hell- super clean mm-hmm. and just like <laughs> You know, not even, like, touching you, but, like, kicking your ass type of, you know. Yep. Dude. All right. So, next and last comment (coughs) from Double Unknown. Sorry for the long rant, but I'm not happy with this episode. That was in parentheses. Mm -hmm. Guys, get ready. We're we're in for a long one. I'm reading it along with you. Yeah, okay. I was definitely worried they were going to go in this direction, which is why I made the comment last time that I wanted Nada to stay around for a while. Well, I don't know about you, but we don't have any, any real pull in the show, so if you leave a comment, it's not going to go anywhere for the show. <laughs> what? Um, <laughs> uh, considering they call it Max Ryusol, uh they should have taken a page from Abare Max, where Abare Blue and Abare Yellow give Abare uh, their powers and have the power up have the disadvantage of Nada being unable to transform while Ko is using the Max Russo powers. There was no good reason to kill Nada at this moment, and the group mourning for him was not earned considering the fact he just joined the group last episode. Yeah. What makes it more frustrating <laughs> is that Nada's introduction to the uh, to the show is what made this show interesting and have plot. Now that he's gone, there's a higher chance for the writers to just go back to the original status quo with a, with a few plot-related episodes mixed in there and they're here yeah, and there so they can wrap up the show. The show has basically lost my excitement and needs to be good the next few episodes to make me a supporter once again. Um, I gotta agree, and I said it. I don't know if I said it how far along in the watch along I said it, but he was a big pull for my enjoyment of the show. So I definitely agree with that. Um, But again, for me, it's like what they, what they gave us this episode, technically I'm still interested in seeing what Ryu soldier is up to like story aside. Cause like before this, before these last, few episodes we hadn't had much story right it was just us hanging out with the Ryu soldiers and it was fine it was enjoyable and that's all i sort of then they gave us a taste of story and then now they're taking it away and we're like so i do not want to get too comfortable with story (laughs) but this show so i'm just going to take it for what it is like (laughs) Ryu soldier is a pretty show it is executed well um not writing wise mind you it's visually executed well sound design is really nice too like all that that chunky clangy armor that's some good stuff um there's there's still a lot for me that i am excited for with the show just not the story because i've given up on that a long time ago a long the the show also kind of gave up on it and then when we kind of had like them kind of sneak in some kind of like a, not like premise, but um, some like threat in the form of like this new uh, droidon who kind of like came in, and then they're kind of like getting scared about the next one, or at least like uh, Weisel's kind of like mm-hmm. you know foreshadowing that someone even stronger is going to come. But he also said that this guy is like a step up from the current guys. And they've struggled with Weisel and the other canon dude, you know? Like, it's not always, like, them kind of blowing them out of the water. It's, like, usually somewhat even. Like, even Weisel, despite how, like, flimsy he is, he just kind of, like, he actually does, yeah. <laughs> like, stand you know, toe-to-toe right. with the, the best of them. And this guy just got destroyed, like, yeah. so fast. <laughs> How many like, times I, have we seen the other dude, like, get blasted and then survive and come back the next episode like nothing happened? And now this guy, <laughs> he's he's gonzo. He's all the way gone, yeah. yeah. Ah, don't worry, we'll see him come back as comedic support. Oh, no. That'll yeah, be I, insult to injury. Oof. I wouldn't mind that just because oh, they're really honestly, good at that. Yeah, but... that is what they're good at. 
literally yeah. the only other thing. But he killed I... Nada, so I can't forgive him for that. The show killed Nada. It wasn't this checker dude. <laughs> the checker yeah. dude was or the checker dude was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I I'm gonna have to agree with Alex. Like as much as they're trying to raise the stakes, I don't know. It, it seems like uh, seems like some fake meat to me. Uh, yeah. Thanks. Like, if the Rio soldiers weren't as busted as it works, like, honestly, they are relatively strong compared to their, you know, opponents. And I kind of wish that we had at least, we had at least someone to kind of, like, put them down. Apparently, they're hyping it up to be the next person, but I wish there was just, like, that one other person, you know? Yeah. Like, this person should have definitely lasted at least one more episode. I don't know why they gave him, like, power up during the bad guy's debut episode. Yeah. Like, Give us some time to breathe and set up Guy's Lord being weak, and then we should probably go to the two part instead of it being all in one. And you know, as much as Michael usually says, like, hey, why didn't they use this Rusol? Why didn't they use that one? And then just get them out of the situation. I've I've been fine with like hand waving it for plot purposes, but if they do not use Max Rusol to quickly dispatch any of their issues. Or if they do not set a proper reason as to why they can't use it, like maybe it's on like a a timer, like you uh-huh. can't use it for that long. Then or maybe maybe Red's anger is fueling its ability to like you know yeah, take him that, over or maybe, something. Maybe. That'd be cool. I would I wouldn't mind that. But but it's this show, so it's, it's this not show. I don't expect it. I don't expect Just, it. Like I said, as much as I as much as I don't like the story or anything it's a very technically good show it's a very uh fun time usually we'll see what happens <laughs> from these next few episodes if they attempt uh, attempt a plot uh is there anything else you guys wanted to say about this episode no i'm good he left a video uh obituary or whatever oh my god I love that you was... 3000. Guys, thanks for watching. <laughs> if you like this episode, hit that like button and subscribe if you want to hear more from us each week. Tell us in the comments down below what you thought about our thoughts, about your thoughts, about our thoughts. Uh, and then also, don't forget to check out the watch along of this episode and then also Common Rider 01 uh, because that's going up today. Uh, yeah, as always, thank you for watching. Keep it juicy. Yep. See ya. Later. I don't know why I added the as always. That usually goes at the front of the episode. I'm all sort of sorts of turned around. Mm. Cake. Mm. At some point, I wanted to work in the metaphor of we can't have our cake and eat it too, so I could take out mm-hmm. my cake.